hello twin flames and welcome to this reading so this is going to be a reading for twin flames in communication you know whether that's sporadic communication communication every day or you know you just feel like communication is coming in or you're connecting on the 5d realm however you feel you know connection or you know communication is working for you so we're going to do a very similar reading to the one i've just done for the union Okay, because I'm going to use the same type of cards. I'm going to bring in the eternal messages by the pretty psyche and the tarot grand look. So really excited to do this reading for you. So I'm going to shuffle the cards and we're going to see what's going on. So thank you, angels. What's going on, please, with twins in communication? So this is the numbers that we've been picking up on over the last few readings. And I've got them all together in a little deck here. There we go. OK, so that's the, the number. Okay? Oh, and there's a number on the floor. So I've got two numbers there for you. What do we need to know, please, angels, while we put them back in? Okay, we just untwist my necklace there. What do we need to know, please, for twins in communication? Okay, what do we need to know for twins in communication? What do we need to know, please, angels, straight out there? Wow, for twins in communication. What do we need to know, please, for twins in communication? They're kind of jumping out the deck, very powerful. What does this connection need, please, for twins in communication? What does the connection need for twins in communication? Thank you. Straight out there. What does the divine feminine want to say to the divine masculine in communication? There we go. What does the masculine want to say to the divine feminine? And what do we need to know about the journey? <coughs> wow. Okay, they're just giving me a little bit of block throat chakra there. So it feels like things are changing, okay, shifting and changing. I'm going to use all of these, okay. Let's do this then. Let's start with these messages. So the feminine wants to communicate this right now to the masculine if you, you know, you're in separation or, you know, you're, you're communicating. So this is for twins in separation communicating. I want commitment with you, just not yet. So Feminines, you want commitment with your masculine, okay? Maybe, you know, you, it's not yet because you're still learning, okay? So you may know this already, that you're ready, you want this commitment, but just not quite yet because you know you're still growing, learning, you understand they are still doing what they need to do, releasing what they need to release. So you understand it's coming, but just not yet. Or you may feel that, you know, you're just not quite ready yet, so this is the feminine here understanding that yes, commitment's coming and you want that with each other, but just not yet. So you know things are still being worked out. I do want to make things right with you. Give me that opportunity. So you're saying to your masculine, you know, I want to make this right. Give me the opportunity. So you're saying, let's talk about it. You know, give me the chance. Let's let's sit down and talk it out. Come together. You know, so this is the feminine being very responsible here. You know, I want to make things right with you too. So just give me that opportunity. Because sometimes when the masculines go quiet, they're not responding. You may think, well, you're not giving me the opportunity to make this right. Please give me the opportunity. I know you're, you've been right. I'm trying to forgive myself. So families, you're also working on forgiveness. But it's not forgiving them. It's forgiving you. You know, forgiving yourself because you've done nothing wrong you know, for beating yourself up about things. It says, I know you, you've been right. I'm trying to forgive myself. So you're saying to your masculine, I know that you're right. So if your masculine said to you, it's not you, it's me. Okay. Or I just, I'm, I'm working on self right now. Whatever reason they are giving you or not giving you, it's nothing to do with you. In other words, they've got their own issues that they need to sort out. So you need to trust that all is well. So forgive yourself for not believing that. And I feel this is also you, you know, forgiving yourself for not trusting enough or believing enough or, or having doubt, you know, especially before you come back into communication. So you're releasing all of that now. Your masculine saying to you, divine feminine, I've been feeling your presence around me. So even when, you know, you're not together physically, you, they still feel you, they feel you everywhere. And we've got... It feels like something's missing without you around. So they're missing you, you know, when you're not around, like when you're communicating, but then you have those quiet periods, they miss you that, you know, they miss you, but they still feel your presence. So they feel the power of love. Just, it says, just wait on me. Please don't give up on me. So don't give up. Yeah, your masculine saying this to you, don't give up on me. 
okay? I love you, I want you in my life, and I've been having dreams of you. So you're both still dreaming of each other. So I feel the dreams here have been getting vivid. I mean, this is the energy coming in for the next week. So, you know, dreams getting stronger, more vivid, your masculine feeling your presence, connecting with you on a very deep level, you know, understanding what this all is, finding the way. And I want to dedicate a song to you. Wow. And we keep getting this, don't we? You know, this energy of communication and music. So your masculine is saying, I want to dedicate a song to you. So maybe your masculine is a songwriter or a singer or a musician. And they are saying to you, I want to dedicate a song to you right now. So pay attention to anything they are releasing right now. But this is about them sending something to you. So what song do they want to dedicate to you? Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. What song do they want to dedicate to you? Let me move my little angels out the way. So what song are they dedicating to you right now then, Divine Feminines? They're dedicating cosmic love always. Wow, cosmic love. And I love this because in my new deck, Twin Flame Oracle, I've done a cosmic love card and I shared it on the community page and they just give me that in my head. So you're meeting up on the 5D to talk and make love and, you know, you've always got this cosmic love always. So your masculine is dedicating that to you right now, saying to you, you know, please don't give up on me. You know, I will come back. I want to dedicate this song to you to say to you, this is cosmic love. It's real. It's always and forever. Very beautiful. Okay. So what does the universe want you to know? So this will be the energy that you're both feeling, you know, things you're both experiencing and going through. Let me just pick these up. A lot of cards come out for a reason. You know, very powerful. Always cosmic love. Love that. I miss being intimate with you. So you're both missing being intimate. So this is why it's cosmic love, because you don't need to be together physically to feel that. You know, you can always meet them and have that kind of connection. I don't want you to be with anyone else. So the angels are reminding you that neither of you want anybody else, regardless of the circumstances, because nobody compares to you. I can tell you don't trust me. I want to change that. So, you know, you're still learning to trust each other in this connection. I'm not blind to the signs. I do see them. So you both seen the signs. You know, you're not blind to them, you see them and you will hear from me soon. So, you know, you're in communication already. So if they've gone silent, you'll hear from them soon. So this is saying, you know, they're going to contact you again. I've been putting myself first. I've been seeing it's only hurting me more. So the masculines, when they're quiet, they've been trying to think of what they want and process things. And I feel this is also what you've been doing, family. You know, putting yourself first a lot more, working on self, gratitude, healing, your higher power. I want to reconcile with you. So you definitely both want to sort things out. And I love this because for the feminine, you know, we find the card again. You've got here, you know, I know that, hang on, where is it? The forgiveness is the other one, okay? It's, I do want to make things right with you. Give me that opportunity. I want to reconcile with you. So you're definitely going to reconcile and sort this out, whatever it is. Yeah, I've been manifesting our connection. So you're both doing this. You know, you're both dreaming it into reality. Give me a chance and you influence me in ways no one ever has. So give them a chance, okay? So this is happening, okay? There's a chance coming in. They're actually giving me cloudy vision as I'm tapping in with this. So things have been, you know, made clear. There's a lot of clarity coming in now. So what does the connection need? Trust and self-love. Wow, love this. Trust and self-love. Very powerful. You know, especially with those cards, it means the same thing. Trust. The connection requires trust. In the guidance you are receiving. So in the guidance you're receiving. So the signs, you you know, and in the daily twin flame reading, very powerful. Okay. The twin, like the divine feminine learning to be patient and the masculine saying, I will find my way. So that requires trust. You know, trust they will connect with you, reconcile with you, you know, sort things out that they will come back to you. And we've got self-love. Today, fall in love with yourself before you do another. So you're also still both healing and growing and learning and evolving. And, you know, that's why you both want commitment, just not quite yet, because, you know, you're still working on self. It's very powerful. This is positive. So we've got here, you know, cosmic love and always remember. So where are the numbers? Here we go. So we've got two numbers. We've got 67 and we've got 107. Okay, so sevens are also about manifesting. You know, the six is about manifesting the 3D world. The 10 is about power. 
So let's bring the angel numbers in. So we've got 67. I have to loop because it looks different in the mirror. It looks like 27. So I may do that after. So 67. Okay. So 67. The message is your thoughts are directing the flow of energy and supporting your life. Take time to align with the thoughts that are serving your expansion. Now, this number also came out today for twins in union. So this is a big sign to keep your thoughts uplifted, to keep your vibration high regarding this connection, because that will move everything forward. And they're giving me 27. I can see that very clear in the camera there. You are being given signs that your prayers are being heard. Trust that God's plan is unfolding as it needs to. So it's another sign about trust. So if you start seeing these messages, these numbers, trust. So the big message here is to trust the connection. And 107, okay, 107, it says, let's find it. 107, your thoughts and intentions are manifesting before you believe and you will receive. So another message there really about this cosmic love, you know, cosmic love, connection power tapping in with the energy of self-love knowing yourself trusting and having faith very very powerful here so for the journey then we've got we need to rewrite our history now this is really powerful because this card jumped out of the deck and it come out for, tw for twins in union so this is very close to union that's what the angel is saying. So you're rewriting the history now. doesn't matter what's happened in the past between you. You have the opportunity to change things for the better. And I want forever, nothing less. So you both want forever. You know, you both want this connection. And you both want commitment, just not quite yet, because there's still things being healed. And my love is as vast as the ocean and deeper than the sea. So this love is forever. You know, this love is real. This love is magical. We've got here, listen to advice. So receiving guidance and twins in union got this too. There's no coincidences. It's showing you the truth. To listen to the guidance of your soul. To listen to the guidance from the angels. To trust your intuition. Guidance is needed to move you through the ocean of life. And, you know, this is the ocean of life. Your love is as deep as the ocean. So you've been reminded to trust that this love is real and it's big and it's not going anywhere. And it has power. We've got willpower. Wow. And it says, improve your willpower to reduce your stress level. So anytime you go through stress, you have to take back your power and realize, you know, everything is happening in divine timing. That it's all in God's will. You know, it's all in power. So you have power. The power is inside of you to change the way you feel. So change, you know, any negative thinking into positive thinking in times of stress. And we've got life purpose. So it's your life purpose to be together. It's your life purpose to experience what you're going through because it makes you stronger. Seek your own deeper vision for life. So you're seeking a deeper vision. You're realizing what you want, where you want to be, what you want to do. And we've got move forward. Wow. So this is moving forward. So your journey is moving forward. Your person is moving forward. Everything is as it's meant to be moving forward. Experience the grace of who you truly are. So when you're working on self-love and you're experiencing that on a very deep level, magic flows in. We've got, wow, this, this is a five of cups. So again, this is letting go of sadness. You know, let go of the sadness. Maybe your twin's gone quiet on you. You're being reminded to trust that they will return, that you will reconcile. Because look at this. You've got the two of cups there because you are a divine partnership, because it's forever, because it's real love. This is a magical selection of cards here. So the angels are showing you, you must let go of fear and pain and struggle and start seeing it in a different way. You know, that commitment is coming for you. It may just not be yet, but it's coming. There's power flowing in, you are one. And the delays are happening for a reason to help you to see things from a different perspective, to change things, to line everything up perfectly, to help you to come in at the right time. So let go of any conflict or doubt or struggle, especially with the ego and realize the truth that your masculine is being truthful with you. You know, that this connection requires trust and it requires self-love. And if you're kind of resonating with the twin flames in union, you know, because perhaps you feel you're already in union, like, you know, you are, because energetically you already are. This is also about honesty, being honest with yourself, 
with you know with with your twin with him with her with the angels about who you are so you've been shown this is all real okay so you're definitely going to come back into contact don't worry about that for one minute you're going to reconcile if there's any issues you know you're going to sort things out you're going to be able to make it right and there will be commitment in the future so trust in the love everything is as it's meant to be you are protected you are loved and you are safe have a great day sending you so much love and i'll see you soon